At the very bottom of the globe, covered in ice, lies the coldest, driest and windiest place on Earth. And I get to go there. How cool is that? I'm heading down to Antarctica with the Australian Antarctic Division. Now, while I'm in Antarctica, the weather during the day is going to be well below freezing. So, I'm going to need a new wardrobe. Every year, about 500 people head to work in Antarctica with the AAD, either by boat, actually icebreaker to be precise, or by plane. It takes around four and a half hours to leave Hobart, travel a few thousand k's and arrive at the main Aussie runway in Antarctica called Wilkins Aerodrome. It's not very often you get to land on a runway that's carved into a moving glacier. Stepping foot on Antarctica is an awesome feeling. It's so big you feel like a little speck in the middle of nowhere. The other weird thing is that at this time of year, the sun doesn't set at all. So it can be the middle of the night and still look like daytime. Behind me is where I've been living, Casey Station. It's one of three Aussie stations on the Antarctic continent. It actually just celebrated its 50th birthday, but the conditions I've been hanging out in are a lot different to what they were in 1969. There's a big kitchen, areas to hang out and play some games. There's even a mini supermarket in case you leave something at home. At the moment, I'm sharing this place with around 100 other people. Not only scientists, but plumbers, electricians, mechanics, weather forecasters, oh, and of course, chefs. Feeding all these people and keeping them healthy is a big job, especially when you can't dip down to the shops if you're missing an ingredient. Obviously, we have to make sure that our stocks last for the entire year, so we have to Make sure that it's varied every night so that we're not stuck with one thing at the end of the year. But it's not all frozen stuff. Some herbs and a small amount of veggies are actually grown here, in a very special building of course. But they're not allowed to bring soil from back home to grow the plants in in case it contaminates the environment. So they put them in these little clay rocks, which help the roots spread and absorb the nutrients. As well as their regular job, everyone who lives here helps out in other ways. Kind of like doing your chores. Everyone works really hard to make it feel like home because there can be downsides to living in such a remote place. One of the hardest is being away from family and friends. I think most people will probably tell you that. At the moment I'm really missing mangoes and summer fruits and any sort of fresh, delicious vegetables. With basically 24 hours of sunlight, I hadn't seen darkness or natural darkness in quite some time. Uh, and when I seen a sunset after about four months, I was just absolutely in awe. I didn't realise I missed it till I saw it again. But these guys say it's all worth it to be able to live and work in one of the most amazing places in the world. The best thing about being in Antarctica is definitely the wild weather. Uh, it always changes, the winds can be extreme. I just love being able to walk out the door in the morning and walk down the road to work and look at icebergs out over the water and you can hear penguins in the distance. There's no downsides to being in Antarctica ever, ever. I can't think of a downside, <laughs> honestly. No, nah, no downside. <laughs>